Welcome to Sandbar Serenity. Today we are at the 2024 Palm Beach International Boat Show and we are excited to see some amazing boats today. So come along with us as we tour the show. All right, we're in the Boston Whaler area at the Palm Beach International Boat Show. In the last video um, for the Miami Boat Show, we did the 280 Vantage and the 320 Vantage. So we're going to step on here at the Boston Whaler platform and look at the 330 Outrage, the 360 Outrage, the 365 Conquest, and 465 Conquest. So let's jump on the 330 Outrage. Now this is an awesome boat. I was uh, in this boat in the Bahamas just a few years ago in 2019 um had just a fantastic time amazing amazing fishing boat and you can see the dual screens and joystick here with a couple of forward facing seats and then your hard top with outriggers so if you know boston whaler you know the construction of these boats is just absolutely fantastic the unsinkable legend is absolutely true and here you can see underneath the um, helm station the toilet and then moving forward, you've got the bow area. Very, very broad, very wide for fishing, for folks to come up here and sun. I know we caught some fantastic fish off of this boat. My dad caught a shark and we've uh, had a really, really great day as this boat just crushes through the waves, especially with its weight. Um, just absolutely kills them. You don't even feel them in the, the four to six range. It just powers right through them. So plenty of space in the rear. This is a folding seat in the back and you've got twin 400s now. They used to have twin 300s, which was just not enough power for this boat. So with the new 400 horsepower ones, these are, are fantastic and they're not underpowered, especially if you lose an engine, um, you're definitely gonna make it back with a 400 horsepower. All right, so let's move forward now. This is the 330 Outrage. And now let's jump onto the 360 Outrage, the larger sibling. It's the 2023 model. So definitely a step up in the craftsmanship of this boat. You can see the nice wood finish and then three seats across facing forward, which I absolutely love. Definitely at least need two, but this one only has a single screen. I'm sure you can option for more, maybe uh, three. It looks like it's built for three across here. You've got joystick as well nice hard top windshield wiper and a window vent which is really critical when you're cruising you'd be surprised but this thing blocks the air coming through here and you just can't feel it and that little window vent makes all the difference so a fold down seat across the back with lar very large fish boxes Two beautiful seats, stern facing, and then heading forward on the 360 Outrage. Really like this gray color. This is very nice. Uh, we've got two forward facing loungers and then a main lounger with storage underneath it. So just a phenomenal boat. And of course, Boston Whaler's unsinkable reputation is awesome. So you get on this thing and you feel incredibly comfortable as you are cruising around. Let's see if we can get a look underneath the helm here. Oh, it's locked. There we go. Oh, no, it's open. Very hard. There we go. All right, we've got a berth. and a toilet and a sink a very deep berth you could easily fit two people on there for an overnight stay if you needed to there we go all right beautiful beautiful materials boat finishes are second to none and just the sturdy nature 
of the construction of this just gives you all the confidence you need, especially when the swells are rising and you're out in a storm or something else on the water. You know you're getting home on a whaler. With a whaler, you know, that they don't swamp. Basically, you just stay with them and wait for people to find the boat. You don't leave the boat because it's gonna sink. You just go right on and stay with the boat. So let's head over here to the 405 Conquest because no one's on that one right now. Triple 600s across the back. Now in the Miami video um, and also in the St. Augustine video, a friend of ours um, had this specific boat. He purchased it brand new. Absolutely gorgeous boat. The Conquest series is just phenomenal. And you can see just the, the beauty of the layout and the styling cues and just that Boston Whaler craftsmanship and reliability is just awesome. Now this one does come with um, uh, the option for a jewel stick, a joystick on the port side, as you saw on the one that we saw in Miami, if you watch that video. Um, this one just has it as optioned on the starboard side. And then we've got our air conditioning vents, dual screens, gorgeous, gorgeous look. And then our kitchen here. All right, and our bow area up front with a nice seating pad. As you can see, it's set up and then the other is down. We'll head downstairs and look at this area as well. Now I would say the only disappointment with this boat is how small this forward berth is. This really only sleeps like one person comfortably or the second person would have to be laying on top of them. This is like a super single. It's very, very narrow. Not a big fan of the size of this. I would have liked to have seen them make that a little bit bigger. But here you have this seating area for eating and a TV. And then your kitchen area on the port side, leading to a rear berth, which is actually larger than the uh, main stateroom in the bow. So two people could easily sleep comfortably on this with rod holder storage across the top. And then here's the bathroom that everyone shares. So this looks like a wet bath. But the space down here, this is my height. You can easily see there's another eight to 10 inches above that for a headroom. So it's a very, very high uh, ceiling and absolutely beautiful. All right, let's move on. All right, so just finishing up the 405 Conquest. Now we'll jump on the 420 Outrage, the much larger sibling to the 330 Outrage. So here we go. 29,000 pounds, 600 gallons of fuel, cruises at 600 miles an hour, and it has triple 600s across the back with a very, very large stern seating area where all the seats fold down to provide you that extra fishing space. Let's see, we've got the sunshade up, which is fantastic. I recently got my new 280 Vantage and it has a sunshade, did not have it prior and I will never buy one without that again. That thing was just awesome. What a game changer it is for opening up the back of the boat and allowing you to either fish or just sit in the rear seating area and not fry. So here in the main cabin, just beautiful colors with this new gray um, uh, vinyl. So here we've got a bench seat. Looks like you could easily sit three people forward. And then just ahead of that, we have three forward facing captain's chairs with the wood grain insets. and very nice gray leather vinyl. I love the contrast of that gray and the wood. 
And then we've got triple Simrads across the helm. Air conditioning is blowing really strong. And then up top we've got an um, area where you can charge your cell phones and keep other gear. All right, so let's head forward and then we'll go down. So very wide walkway. This is very reminiscent of the Galleon and also the Ikea. So huge, huge uh, bow area where you could put a pad there and make this a very big sun pad on top of the table. And then here we've got our seating area as well. All right, so let's head back and we'll head down. All right, so heading down. I really, really like this. This is very, very wide and spacious. And one cool thing that I have not experienced before is see the steps are full width which is awesome. You don't have these narrow single steps. You could step anywhere and make it down, especially if you're carrying something, you can sit some stuff on top of there as well. But it made it for a really nice trip down without having to worry about focusing really diligently on just a single step. So here's your microwave, TV, kitchen area downstairs, and then your bathroom, which would be directly underneath the helm station. So this looks like a wet bath. And that's about seven feet to the ceiling there. It's a really nice area. I absolutely love these stairs. That is phenomenal. I wish that was on every boat because you typically just have to walk down this very narrow slice of stairs right below the entryway. And you better concentrate or you're gonna bust your butt. And just again, a very, very wide berth here. Um, you could put the table down, put a pad on top of it and easily sleep a couple of people across there. That's about seven feet wide, so very, very spacious. All right, let's see if we can go get aboard the 365 and take a look at it. Another beautiful boat from Boston Whaler. Okay, here is the 365 Conquest, the twin 1200, 12, twin 600 horsepower V12s on it. It's the 365. This is the newly designed 365 for 2024. The very, very large stern area here for fishing and seating. You've also got your grill across the back with your fish box and your live wells. And this is a bench seat here that moves forward and backwards. So you can shift the position of it and put your feet down on the rest. So if you want to face rear, you can, or if you want to go forward, then you have this nice seating area here. Now, unlike the 405, you do not have the dual console capabilities. You just have the main captain's console. And then you have a screen over here, but you don't have the option for a joystick or anything like that. And this seat just moves backwards so you can forward face, but you don't have a joystick option. It's just a screen, which is still very, very nice for the wife or whoever else may be with you to be able to monitor the trip, see where you're going look at different locations and check things out. Joystick, digital throttle, dual screens. And then you've got a small summer kitchen right here behind the captain's chair. All right, so heading down. Actually, we'll take a look just in front. You can see the bow cushion, the bow pad actually. Really nice, really large. Get the wife or the girlfriend out there to do some sunbathing and just enjoy it. All right, so now we're coming down. And this, oddly enough, is way nicer than the 405 that we were just on. Very, very nice appointments. Really wide, maintains a lot of that width that we felt on the 405. And then here's the skinny stairs I was telling you about. I really love that width on the 405. This is still adequate, but very, very nice on the 405. And then you've got a second berth underneath the helm station, which you can see here, which is not lit up at the moment, but you could easily sleep two people there. It's very wide. And then you've got a full bath here. So this one actually, you can see the uh, 
shower stall area is actually enclosed so it is a full bath not a wet bath that's awesome but this is really really well done you've got storage in the floor too nice appointments really nice quality you can just feel it when you step on this boat i am really impressed with a 365 very very nice boat all right well that wraps up our time here at the palm beach international boat show we had just an absolutely amazing time i highly recommend in the future if you're able to come to the palm beach boat show that you take advantage of that opportunity here you're able to see boats from every manufacturer and every size and then compare them side by side and find out what you really like so take advantage of that opportunity if it presents itself we had a wonderful time i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and comment